Hello guys, I hope that you're all really well and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you what I'm packing in Harry's carry-on bag. Now I've watched an absolute ton of these videos because we haven't been on a family holiday in a few years so the types of things that we used to take on planes like nappies and milk and stuff has totally changed. We don't need any of that but we kind of need more stuff to entertain a very active, very busy five-year-old. So we are flying to Ibiza which is only about a two and a half hour flight so it's not too long at all and it is at night time so we might be really lucky and Harry just wants to sleep but I've got a feeling that my little night owl of a child is going to want to stay up and be entertained so we've got quite a lot of things to put in his carry-on to entertain him on the flight there as well as the flight back as well as to have some things to do whilst we're on holiday because we're not packing any other toys or things to do in his suitcase so I'm just going to get straight into it and show you what we're using as his carry-on case and what's going to be inside it so first up I'm going to show you the bag that we're using. This was really kindly gifted to Harry from the Disney store and it's the new Toy Story 4 rucksack and I've chosen to take this one because it's got loads of pockets for different things including like a little drinks holder on the side, it's got a front pocket for snacks and yeah it's just like the perfect size for a flight. So we were looking at getting Harry one of the scooter cases, I think they're by a company called Flight. The only thing was, I know everyone raves about them and they do look so good and I love the idea that they kids can scoot around in them but I think that like getting stuff out in the cabin would be a bit of a nightmare correct me if I'm wrong but you'd obviously have to get it down from the overhead bit and unzip it and I just feel like there's not going to be enough space for that Harry's one of those kids that gets bored quite quickly so I feel like he's going to want one coloring book out and pens and then the next minute he's going to want a dvd player out so yeah I think Going with a rucksack that he can just access himself and have under his seat is probably the better option for us. Saying that though, I think that we might get one of the scooter cases for a holiday later in the year, but we will see. Let me know if you've got one and if you have any problems um, with like storing it and getting it back down all, all the time or anything. Um, but yeah, we have picked this Toy Story one, which I think is really cute. So the first thing I like to do when I'm packing any sort of case is just get all the stuff out and pop it down in front of me, whether it's on the floor or on a bed, and then I can see exactly what I'm taking and I can work out how I'm going to pack it all. So the first things we are putting in the case are these pens and I've actually seen these before on Emily Norris's channel and it was a bit of a hack one because basically they all tie onto this little ring and then you can just pull them off and the li lids won't go missing or anything and I just think it's genius. It keeps them all together so you can just pop it in and out of your handbag. There's a nice variety of colours there and yeah I think they're by, hang on, Stabilo however you say that. I got them from Amazon and they were really inexpensive. We've also got a biro here that Scott got for Harry when he went to Ireland and it's got all different colours on it which I think is good because it means that I don't have to take 400 different coloured pens. And then to go with the pens and colouring pencils, we've got these. So I actually ended up picking this one last minute because I saw it in Sainsbury's after I'd bought the other one. So he's going to have plenty to do on the plane and on holiday. But I thought this book was perfect because it's all about being on the plane. It's got all sorts of stuff from when they're in the airport to kind of like security on the plane. They can colour in the outfits. I just thought it was really cute. It's actually the kind of activity book that I would enjoy looking at. Yeah, it just looks super cute and I think it's going to keep him very, very busy. So we've got that one from Sainsbury's. And then I picked this one up online. I think I got it from Amazon, just a holiday sticker book. He had one of these last time we went on holiday and he really liked it. So yeah, again, it's very similar. It's just got stickers and lots of bits about going on holiday. And then I picked this one up in Poundland before, like I said, before I got the other books, but I'm going to stick it in there anyway. And this is just a simple dinosaur colouring book. And then I picked this up mainly for when we're actually on holiday because we haven't got any storybooks or anything, but I thought Harry could kind of look at this if he wants to look at a book. He's really into Where's Wally at the moment and I really like it too. It's something that we can kind of sit and do together and he like really concentrates when he's looking. So yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to finding Wally with him. Other things I'm taking for entertainment is a game of Snap. Again, Scott got this when he went to Ireland and I just thought it would be a good little card game to take with us. And then we've also got a pack of Top Trumps because again, it's just like an easy game to play. There's not too many parts to get lost or anything. I wasn't going to take 
any toys in hand luggage but Harry's a little bit obsessed with Toy Story now all the promotion is out this is the old Woody it's got the Andy on the bottom but he really really loves this and it's quite easy to just chuck in the bag because he's quite flexible so we've got Woody and his hat coming with us and then the last thing we've got entertainment wise this is actually empty at the moment because it's downstairs but this is Harry's Nintendo Switch this is a carry case we got for it when we bought the Switch we actually bought this separately on Amazon and it's so amazing because let me show you inside so yeah as I was saying it's such a brilliant carry case because it's got so much space you've got a pocket here where you can put like the little games and then this bit lifts up and you can put the switch over the top of these games or you can put the switch on top of here um, so you can keep the games in here and it just keeps it really really protected it's a really sturdy case because we know what these kids are like with electronic devices so yeah that will be coming with him and to go with his switch and any other devices he wants to use we've got these skull candy um what are they called headphones and i've actually spoken about these on my instagram lately if you don't follow me on instagram my name on there is lucy and the bump and yeah i spoke about them on instagram because they are the first headphones that harry's been able to hear music out of because his hearing aids um he can't hear music from like the middle he can hear it from the top and because the speaker pad on these is so squishy and so big it's really comfortable to, for him to wear so if you know anyone with cochlear implants or somebody that wears earphone um hearing aids then they would really benefit from a pair of these and they were really cheap as well you can get wireless ones which we've got and you can also get wired ones which we've got too i'm also taking an empty water bottle it will be empty by the time we go there um obviously you can't take your own water or um drinks through so i'm going to take this empty and then fill it up when we get through security so that harry has a drink for the whole of the plane journey and also for on holiday so snack wise i'm not taking a great deal because it is a night flight i think our flights are like 10 at night so i'm not expecting harry to eat loads and i think we're going to have dinner at the airport but just in case i'm taking a packet of maryland cookies we've got a yo-yo here and we've also got a fruit pouch an apple and strawberry one i'm also taking two lollipops i heard a really good tip on somebody else's video that they get their kids to suck lollipops on landing so that their ears don't pop with harry i don't really know how it works with his ears because obviously his normal ears don't actually work so i don't know if he gets like popping ears or sore ears or anything but we're gonna give him a lolly anyway um, and he'll just think it's like the best thing ever he's also taking a little travel pillow and i really can't remember where we got this from but he saw it and fell in love and we said he could get it for his holiday and he's been desperate to use it it's a really nice one actually it's quite plump and um like good quality and it's really soft too but if i remember where we get it from i will link it below and then we've just got a few practical things here of course just a packet of wet wipes i don't tend to use just johnson's i use any kind of wet wipe but this is what we had in harry's drawer for any spillages and then these little pouches were part of a packing cube set that i got on amazon which i'll link below they are absolutely amazing and i swear by packing cubes and in here i've got a couple of medical essentials so as I was saying we've got a couple of medical essentials in here so I'm going to add some cowpole as well but I just need to buy some we are going to take some waterproof plasters I think these will be really handy for while we're on holiday but I just thought I better take them to the airport on the plane as well because my five-year-old is accident prone and then I've picked up these children's travel bands because Harry has started getting quite bad travel sickness he's not normally physically sick but he feels really nauseous so I think that he might feel like that on the plane so i'm just not going to take any chances and i'm going to pop these on him anyway so this is what they look like they're like these tiny little orange bands they look quite cool i feel like he's going to love wearing them and it's got this little ball in it that pushes on your pressure points i don't really know the science behind it i know it's like a chinese medicine kind of thing but um we will give it a go and see if it works and then the last thing we're packing in his case is something that most parents with hearing children wouldn't have to take but i thought i'd show you anyway just in case you were interested but we take an advanced bionics pouch which keeps his cochlear implant equipment in there we haven't got much in here at the moment because he's wearing them um but it will have some spare batteries in there in case they run out because it's going to be a long day and um a long kind of travel and we also have to take these medical cards with us which tell the airport or security especially in spain because obviously they're a little bit less common there it just tells them what harry has on his head and the fact that he can't go through the security machines um 
because he can't go through them so yeah we have them just in case anybody questions it and then there'll be spare stuff in here as well and then all of his other kind of ear bits will go in our main luggage so that is everything that is going in harry's carry-on case i hope that you've found this video interesting or informative i like i said have been watching so many of them and i found them really helpful so i thought i would make my own as well and i will see you in my next video bye